Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Are you having issues installing Discord on your Windows 10 PC? In this video, I'm gonna show you two methods to get this up and running. One is an easy way where we clear the cache and any temporary files and then try to install it. The second one is kind of forcing it to install by extracting it onto your computer. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and we're gonna get started right now. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. We're gonna begin the first method at the desktop because this is probably where you're gonna be left if it had failed to install. So the first thing we wanna make sure is there's no instances of it running. So we're gonna go into the tray and quit any Discord sessions that are running. And then we're gonna go into the task manager. And inside the task manager, we're gonna look for anything that says Discord and we're gonna right click on it and then task. Now, if you find the one with the white icon, that is the main one. So if you right click and end it, you're gonna kill all the sessions. And just look through the list, make sure there's nothing else in here. And then we can close out of this window. Now we're gonna click on start and go to settings. And inside here, we're gonna go into apps and we're gonna search for Discord. And if there's any discords in here, we're gonna select it and then install. Now you'll often have fragments of Discord all over the computer if it failed during the installation. So what we're trying to do is remove all traces of it. And the last step to clear any traces of it is to click on the start button. And in here, we're gonna type in percent sign app data percent sign, hit enter and this window is gonna pop open. So any temporary files are gonna be right here in the Discord folder. Uh, what we wanna do is just delete it. If you see anything related to Discord, we're just gonna highlight it hold shift on your keyboard, hit delete, and we're gonna permanently delete it. So now it's been completely deleted off your system. And now there should be no more files left over. So let's close out of this window. So now with it completely gone off the computer, we can open up our browser, head over to discord.com, and then download a new copy of it, of the Windows version for your PC and try to install it. Now that might work for you. Maybe you're still having issues. So then we'll go on to method number two. In method number two, we're gonna to need to download a tool. So we're gonna head over to Google and we're gonna type in 7-zip. 7-zip, we can click on the download link. And I know that we're using a 64-bit version, so you can download the 64-bit version, assuming you're using the same version of Windows, and then click on it to install it. Click yes to the prompt. And let me just minimize this window and then we can click on install. So it's gonna install 7-zip and what it is, is a, it's an application that allows us to decompress or unzip files. And now what we're gonna do is head over to our downloads folder where our setup file is. So the setup file is the one that you just downloaded from their website. And what I'm gonna to do to make things easier, more visible. Okay, so we're just gonna drag and drop this on the desktop so you can follow along cleanly. I'll close this window and we're gonna right click on it. In the menu, go to 7-zip and then look for Extract to Discord Setup. So now it's gonna create a folder on our desktop with the files that we're gonna need. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna open up File Explorer. By clicking on Start, type in File Explorer. Here we go. And then we wanna to go to this PC and then our C drive. And then we're gonna drag and drop it into the C drive. Now inside here, we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna locate a file right here at the top, it's the first one. So we'll right click on it and go to 7-zip. And then we're gonna go down to extract discord 0.0.309-full. Now this name is gonna change depending on the version that you have downloaded. So when it's completely extracted, we have a new folder here that we can go into. And then we're gonna go into the lib folder, lib, double click on that and open it up. And inside here, net 45, we'll open that up as well. And here is the Discord file that we want. So we can create a shortcut on the desktop so it's easily accessible. And this is the one that we're gonna launch. So right click on it, send to, and then desktop. Okay, and now our shortcut has been created on the desktop for the program, and we can close out of the file explorer. Now we wanna delete the setup file so we don't get confused. So let's get it rid of that. And now we're just left with the application shortcut. So we can double click on it and we can launch Discord and it's gonna start up as if we installed it. So everything's been extracted. We're gonna get a login screen and here it is. And you can log in with your username and password as if you had just installed the program. And that is method number two. 
So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.